So continuing with the development of uh, venous system, today's topic is on the development of portal vein. So portal vein uh, especially develops from vitelline veins. A uh, vitelline veins, we knew it that they are the veins which drain the yolk sac. And there are two vitelline veins which are right and left vitelline veins. And they are interrupted by uh, developing uh, liver which is present within septum transversum. So here is the hepatic bud which is developing uh, in septum transversum. And we can see on each side below the liver that is the infrahepatic part there are two right and left vitelline veins which lies on each side of developing duodenum. right and this is left vitelline vein. These two veins are interconnected by three anastomoses in relation with the duodenum. So these two veins are connected by three anastomoses. We can name them as upper middle and lower transverse anastomoses. So here is the So we can see the three anastomoses, upper, middle and lower anastomoses connecting right and left vitelline veins. And among these, upper and lower ones are ventral anastomoses. So they lie ventral to the duodenum. So upper one and the lower one, they are the ventral anastomoses. And the middle one is the dorsal anastomoses. So this is dorsal anastomoses which lie dorsal to the developing duodenum. Meanwhile, the superior mesenteric vein and splenic vein develop independently and join with the left vitelline vein. So, here is the right vitelline vein and this one is the left vitelline vein and this is the proximal or the upper anastomosis. This is dorsal or Upper anastomosis, this one is the middle which is dorsal and here is the lower anastomosis and we can see the developing duodenum. And this is developing liver. So we can see the Superior mesenteric vein, this is the superior and splenic vein. These two veins joins with the left vitelline vein. So this is the left vitelline vein, we can see it is continuing with the dotted lines. So it joins with the left vitelline vein just caudal to the middle dorsal anastomosis. So this is the middle dorsal anastomosis. So let's see the veins which are disappearing here. So whatever shown in the dotted lines here, they are the veins which disappear. So the part of the right vitelline vein caudal to the dorsal or the middle anastomosis. So this is the middle anastomosis below that. So, caudal to the dorsal anastomosis, it gets disappeared and part of the left vitelline vein caudal to the entry of superior mesenteric and splenic veins. So, caudal to the entry of superior mesenteric and splenic vein, this part also disappears. So, lower ventral anastomosis also disappears. Left vitelline vein between the upper ventral and middle dorsal anastomosis. So, the left vitelline vein means here which is not shown, I am showing with the dotted lines. So this part. 
So between the upper and the middle anastomosis, the left vitelline vein also disappears. So these are the uh, veins which are disappeared. So now we see the veins which are persist. So part 1 that is the little part of left vitelline vein near the entry of splenic vein and mesenteric vein. So this is part 1. And part 2 is the middle dorsal anastomosis. Here is the part 2. Part 3 is the right vitelline vein between the superior and middle anastomosis. That is ventral and dorsal anastomosis. So this one is the part 3. So these are the parts. So first, second, third point. If you join these parts, they form the stem of the portal vein. So part 1 plus 2 plus 3 will form stem of portal vein. Then the left branch of portal vein, it is formed from the upper ventral anastomosis. So this is the left branch of portal vein. This is stem of portal vein. Here is the left branch of portal vein. So which is formed from the upper ventral anastomosis. So this is the upper ventral anastomosis and also it is from the uh, upper small part of left vitelline vein. So this one upper small part of left vitelline vein. So that forms the left branch. So 1 plus 2 forms the left branch of portal vein. So this is the 1 and this part is considered as 2. So 1 plus 2 forms left branch of portal vein. So then the right branch of portal vein, so the right branch of portal vein, it is the cranial part of the right vitelline vein above the ventral anastomosis, upper anastomosis, the remaining part from here to here. So this part forms the right branch of portal vein. So this completes the development of portal vein. Thank you.